Here we go. We unlocked Tainted Bethany on one of the worst runs I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, we start with minus one HP, so that seems pretty bad. Blood power and weaker items, and then the item is called Let Me Get On. Lemma Jetton. All right. Uh, well, the good news is that uh, items can't get any worse than what we just had. Can I run something by you? I'm, I'm scared you know what -less that my item is in the bottom right corner. What's up with that? Little Loki. Okay. I, I, I don't know why the book is in the wrong corner. And it's, it's freaking me out, man. Okay, so every time we use Let Me Get On... Oh, because it's a permanent active item. Okay. Um, every time you use the item, you get a, a, a... Use the book, you get a random item. Um, you seem to get it for maybe the whole floor. Maybe it's like Monster Manuel style. And then, yeah, I was just going to say, let me guess. Red hearts charge it and you can't get any red heart containers. Now we're talking. 24 hour active item. Permanent, baby. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up what they're getting down here. Well, red hearts drop a lot more than spirit hearts. So that's like a, that's a positive. It's permanent until it breaks the wisp. Catch the spirit. Break the wisp. The whisper. Don't know. Sorry. Okay, we don't need to sing because we we sang a lot on the last episode, um, but that was when we had no items, so we had a good excuse. So it beats me how this is gonna work, but that's fine. Rat jam. Yeah, rat jam. By the way, this seems really cool. Thus far. I don't What do you do with this item again? Like, I, I can't remember. I always get it confused with Golden Teleporter. Like, it's a once every six room teleport that only takes you to weirdo rooms. Is that correct? Oh, that's uh, the wrong button. And that's just terrible news. But maybe we'll get a teleport out. <laughs> oh! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Te teleport me? Yes. Love to see it. Teleport me? They did it! They, that is right, they did it! We might as well two of diamonds because we're not sticking around. Saved. It also charged up our spacebar item there. That's interesting. Never punished. Oh, check this out. Mmm, never punished. Yet again, I remain unpunished. Hey, NL, I just watched episode 7 of Repentance. I just wanted you to know there is a 100% chance Macho Man Randy Savage says playtime and not me time. I appreciate you coming to the side of reason. Uh, I, I couldn't agree more. He absolutely says playtime. You can see his lips come together in the, the telltale plosive of a P instead of the, the muted nonsense of a M. We will take matchstick. I mean, why not go alt path, man? Alt and path. I always thought he said pain time. It's one of those things that's kind of like is is sending me for a loop because of the fact that to me it's so clear that he says play time, but other people are like I heard different things. It's, it's, it's like the Yanny Laurel, like, or what color is the dress debate and stuff like that. Do you still talk to your college roommate? Um, no, but it's not like, I mean, it's, it, like, we're not estranged or anything like that. Like, he's part of this, like, you know, Google Hangout that, uh, like, Mouth and Josh and I are in of, of people that, you know, we've, we've been friends for, like, over a decade. Um... Sure, why not? Uh, he just, he doesn't talk in it. But he's like, he's in it. He's doing it, don't get me wrong, he's busy. Like, he's, he's doing some big time stuff. But uh, we're not estranged, it's just... Uh, saved. 
We have we haven't spoken in a while. Yeah, he's a lurker. He's not as always online as as uh, as many people, myself included. Ever since he got tapped to direct the new Spider-Man film. It really is like that group is like me, Josh, Mouth, and then like two other friends of ours. And even Mouth doesn't talk in it much anymore. Unless you like if you add him, he'll reply. But he's like he's a little lurker. He's got heavy lurker energy. It's a pretty good run so far. You talk in it? I I I probably am the most talkative in the group chat. That's because I have the most to complain about. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, stop pinging us. I hear you. But it is interesting to think, like, you know, it's it's like a Gwyneth Paltrow sliding doors situation. I think of like a couple of different like moments in my life that I didn't know at the time had like a massive impact on on how my life would go. There, there's a few for sure, and you know everybody's got some for better and for worse. But like one of them is uh, when I was about to move in with uh, like my friend from high school after I came back from Korea, and then he was like, "By the way, my uh, my girlfriend's pregnant. Is that okay?" And I was like, "No, absolutely. I mean, it's okay that she's pregnant, but I don't want to live with you <laughs> anymore." <laughs> So that one, uh, I want none of these, by the way. Uh, that one was like, it, that had a considerable impact on my life. And then the, uh, another one, like I was going to live with my college roommate and another friend of mine from college. They both lived in Toronto. I was going to, oh, pick up the red hearts, pick up the red hearts. You're not wrong. I was going to move from my hometown to Toronto to live with them. And then this, this is like a, a sad moment. So I apologize. But one day, they were just like, hey, we found the place, but it's two-bedroom only, and we're going to take it. So, like, you know, basically, like, F you. And I was like, all right. I was, I was, I was hurt for sure. But uh, as a result of that, you know, I was like, well, I don't want to live at home any longer. So I moved out to, to Vancouver much faster than I would have uh, expected, I think. I'm going to blow you up. Maybe this always gives you error rooms? I'm not sure. Double, double tap dash, no thank you. Not not in the spiky room. Um, yeah, yeah. So I moved out to, to Vancouver probably like a year or two faster than I thought I would. It's interesting. And I honestly think that like doing that like completely changed my life for a number of reasons. You know, one of which is like who knows what happens, you know, if I hadn't. In, in my personal life, but then secondarily, like, once I moved out of my parents' house and I had, like, so many more responsibilities, I basically started, like, not re making one Isaac video a day and then playing Dota with the other 10 hours. <laughs> but then, like, eh, maybe I could dedicate, like, a little bit more time to work on a daily basis. And then, like, I, I think as my responsibilities stretched, you know, so did my capacity to meet them and, and I think it's uh, I think it's changed things for the better I think about it from time to time yeah instead I was like oh if I'm gonna play video games I might as well be recording like all of them yeah that was when like I and I remember it's happened a couple of times right like I mean this is very self-inflating so I apologize ooh baby When I first moved back from Korea, I had, like, no expenses whatsoever. So I was like, dude, if I, like, make one video a day and that's good enough, then, like, look at how much leisure time I have. Like, that's crazy. But I think there's something to be said for, like, having too much leisure time is actually, like... Obviously, having too little is bad. But having too much is almost bad as well, because you just get bored and, like, don't appreciate it as much. Um... That's why I think, like, people in retirement sometimes, you know, they suffer because they're like, oh, I got nothing to do. Like, I'm, I'm, the good times are, are killing me, right? So then I moved out to Vancouver and I was like, yo, I'm, like, out on my own, obviously, like, paying for all my meals and stuff. It turns out, like, life's kind of expensive. So I, I 
you know, started working a little bit more. Then we moved into like a nicer place in 2015. And I was like, this place is crazy, man. I can't afford this, even though I could. But I was like, I gotta like adjust my work again. And then the same thing when we took on, you know, this place. To pick up the Red Hearts. And then the same thing with the baby, actually, was, which has led to this, like, new, uh, you know, Twitch streaming schedule, basically. It's like, you always gotta, like, constantly be, uh, reworking it in the face of, of how your life changes, you know? Don't, no, wait, don't take my wisps! You took my cool wisp. In fact, you're taking, like, all of my wisps? I have, I have no items left. I, well, I have the passives, I suppose. <laughs> It's still really good now that I think about it. Like, I actually, now that I'm looking, like, from a, a broader perspective, I feel like, uh, how could, how could Tainted Bethany not be good? You get all the items that you would normally get, plus the Wisps give you temporary huge buffs. Like, this is, this seems amazing. Yeah, plus you can save the, you can save the red ones for a, a rainy day here. Put it in your pocket for a rainy day. Sing your song and you know you're wrong now. You know what I'm talking about? The beta band? I don't remember the name of that song, though. A plus B equals, po equals Pog, something like that. Um, I'm going in. I'm happy I did. No, we got damage. Come on. We, we got a damage upgrade in the form of Sin Robes. And then also on top of that, we got this dang Perthrow, man. Okay. We're, we're definitely doing, like, full alt path if we can. This is the strongest character in the game right now. Dude, let's go. What's the deal with the weird active item? Okay, but please rephrase and try again as Jerry Seinfeld. What's the deal with this character? She gets wisps, she gets items. It's weird. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, I mean you haven't taken damage in two floors. Oh, in that case, carry on with the compliments. Isn't it just that Vancouver is crazy expensive by Canadian standards? I would say yes and no. Um, I like all of Canada is kind of like screwed from a real estate standpoint right now. It was kind of just the cities and then like, you know, scattered parts of the of the country, and then like this year. I mean, I saw a stat. Uh, help! <laughs> That's not what I meant to hit. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh no, dude. Oh God. Oh, we got, we still got teleports. We still got teleports. Okay, you hit this hit Q a couple of times to get strong. There you go. Take the fortune cookie just for a moment. Might as well use it, but don't use it more than once. And then pick this up. You lose. It. We're not the lost anymore, though, so I'm trying to think of what... Okay, hold on. We... Because we're not the lost. We're not the lost. I'm not owned. Not the lost. Okay. Um, I, I can at least... Yeah, we can go true ending. We could try true ending. That's fine. At least there's other ways out. Um, but I, like, I sent this stat to Kate that was, like, in 2020, like, home prices were up 30% on average across Canada or something, like, ridiculous. Um... But then, like, there were some stats that were almost even more insane. Like, last, uh... You know what? We could do boss rush, too. Thank you. Like, there was a report that came out that said Vancouver housing prices were up 5% between February and March. Which is just like... You're like, no, nah, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> that can't possibly be true, but it seems like the data bears it out. And you're like, that's... That's too high. Even as, as somebody that, you know has some equity, I guess. That's, uh... That's too high. That That's high enough to be worrying. I get that, like, interest rates are, for the time being, like, insanely low, but still.
I don't know what I was hit by. I'm not suggesting anything untowards. I just don't, I don't know what hit me. Do you think they'll crash? Dude, I had, come on. Like, what do I know? <laughs> many, many smarter people than, than me have, uh, have already grokked the fact that it's very difficult to predict that stuff. All I'm gonna say, and this is not like advice for the future, but the culture in Vancouver uh, in my, for my generation has definitely been like, since 2014 or 2015, people were like, if you buy now, you're an idiot, it's gonna crash. Like, you're, you're gonna get toasted. And it's, it's really easy to buy into that, for sure. Cause you're like, the prices are irrational. Like, how can they stay uh, at this level? Like, who can even afford this? Um, but if you bought into that and waited for like seven years, you set yourself back by like, you know, multiple decades if you were able to afford in the first place. Like, if you weren't able, then it doesn't matter too much because, you know, what can you do? But, you know, if you, if you had the means, but you're like, oh, I'm going to try to like time it properly, then uh, like you, you missed out on a crazy run. That's for sure. We, we could try to fight Mega Satan as well. I know there's so much stuff to keep in mind here. Trying to just recall. <laughs> Don't take my charge. We've lost Sack Dagger. So we're trying. We want to do boss rush. We're slow. Just quite frankly, we're slow for boss rush. But we might be able to squeeze a little bit of time off. Um, by using unknown. It would have to, like, I at least want to go to the... Let me in, please. I at least want to go to the item room. And then we will grab this, hit the space bar immediately. Did not take me to the error room, unfortunately, but took me closer to the boss. And there's a chance here. We, we'd have to go pretty quick. But let's give it a try. And then, why don't we do, like, Dark Path Mega Satan? That seems... Oh. Oh, dude, we, we just got the... Okay, so Boss Rush, Dark Path, Mega Satan. That's that's my dream. Curse of the Tower. Okay, if you could remove that, that would be sick. And I think we save our red hearts for, like, for more charges later. We don't... Ah, you know what? We need to go fast. Save them for Boss Rush. Put it in your pocket for a rainy day. You could do Hush. Hold on, it's been so long. Can we do Hush and then still continue on... <laughs> No, because I want to do alt path. No, I don't want to do alt path. Let's let's knock out as many things as we can. So we're drawing it up, all right? I'm drawing it up in my head right now. Boss rush. Dark path. If we get to the door in under 30 minutes, hush. Then we go full dark path. Kill the lamb. If you're still alive, kill Mega Satan. If you're still alive, maybe you'll have a, a void portal, and you use that void portal to go fight Hush. Then, you get an error room that takes you to the alt path, and then you'd beat the alt path, and then you respawn as an, you do a victory lap, respawn as another character. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to pick it up. I'm starting to understand. I think I got it all figured out. Step one, though, is going to... Well, that's not true. Okay, hold on. We're kind of screwed, right? Because if we try to go to boss rush, if we do boss rush, we're not going to be in time for Mega Satan. Or uh, for, for Hush. It's not possible. It'll probably take us ten minutes to be... to be done with boss rush to begin with. Robo Baby 2.0, baby. Yeah, baby. Monday, baby. Robo Baby, baby. Stars card. See you later. 2020, that helps. You teleport out of boss rush? Yeah, but then we don't get the unlock, brother. We, and we're here for the unlocks. Please. Please tell me this is the right way. I, Dude, I haven't been hit. I still have 10 luck. That's crazy. Four lucko? How about 10 lucko, bucko? Ramon's voice, 2020. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 
that, that is not how that word works, but I I think it's clear my last two brain cells are like just barely holding hands right now. Oh, you can get a uh, you can get a bone heart, huh? Oh, jeez, saved. Twenty, twenty, twenty until I go. Uh oh. Still saved? Like, I, whatever, dude. Take my bone heart. Like, see if I care. NL, have you had mini Cadbury eggs? Yes. I am of the opinion, though... Oh, it's gonna be gone anyway. I am of the opinion that a mini Cadbury egg is, is better than the large cream egg. Not everybody supports this, this consensus, but... Yo, does get out of jail free open boss rush? Yes. Okay. Well, we could do that because we're we're not going to make it to uh, both. Like, we're I don't even think we're gonna make it to boss rush, unless it. No, there's no chance. Uh, so, we'll use that to open boss rush. Hush too? Yeah, but I, I, I can't do... Because I'm going to have to use it to open boss rush. It will no longer exist for Hush. You know what I mean? I mean, we have, we have 30 seconds to get there, so... You know what I mean? No? Okay, that's fine. You know, we'll just... We'll figure it out. I do still have the luck. How did that happen? You ever notice how much Let Me Get On kind of looks like Chet Lemon if you just cross your eyes? Henlo, did I just realize, did I just read Pac-Man 99 comes out today? You did indeed. Um, I'm very excited to uh, check out Pac-Man 99. It doesn't come out, I think it comes out at 6 p.m. And I honestly just genuinely don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, fit it into the schedule this week. But, like, it's it's so on the radar that it, like, it, the radar is just one big blip. You know what I mean? We, we got a bit of a quality problem right now. You know, like, the, the, the kind of problem you want to have. People love playing or watching Isaac. Like, the numbers are out of control. They also love the variety, right? So we got some variety coming on Thursday via Rainbow Six Siege. We got some variety coming on uh, Friday via the Overcooked Twitch Rivals. But I gotta, I gotta keep a steady diet. It's like the food pyramid, you know? Like 60% of my daily intake has to be Isaac. It won't last this way forever, you know? Like... And in fact, it's actually lasted longer than I than I thought it would be because like the the DLC is so robust. That was bad. The variety will return. I, I'm I'm still updating my my Twitch schedule spreadsheet. I'm adding new stuff to it at all times. Variety will be back. We're going to have a second variety boom. Thermite is Dan. I still don't buy it. Like, he doesn't... Thermite doesn't really look like Dan. But 100%. And I know I tweeted this already. 100%. Pulse is Pete Weber. Not just the glasses, but the, the hairline... The face, like, you can just look at his mouth. I'm pretty sure they they actually modeled Pulse on Pete Weber. The bowler who said, who do you think you are, I am. There's a little bit of an age difference, for sure. The cheeks, the button nose. How's new dad life? You look like you're getting some sleep. Yeah, like, I, dude... I'm basically we're just bragging at this point, but uh there I wanna start with the negative, okay? The negative is that she doesn't nap, which is 
frustrating during the day because you're like you're tired she's like trying to scratch her eyeballs out um but she won't sleep during the day unless i like you know take her out on a walk then sometimes she sleeps um so the days are like quite busy she she requires some maintenance during the day at night Literally, we, we moved her into her own room uh, maybe two and a half months ago now. She has literally not woken us up once in the middle of the night. Which is like the kind of thing where you're just like, if another parent had told me that before we had our kid, I would be like, you're not being sincere. Like, you're just trying to make us feel better. But she genuinely, like, as of right now, like, she sleeps through the night every night and what's crazy when she doesn't sleep through the night like or let me rephrase when she wakes up during the night she actually just like smacks the the button on her mobile and turns it on and then watches it so like it's like the way that if you woke up in the night you might like look at your phone or something like that <laughs> she she does she's she's got the giga brain man and it allows us to sleep Self-soothing on a whole new level. Okay, so I will say... Somebody in, uh, in chat just posted the wiki for Get Out of Jail Free. And the wiki says... You can't use it to get in, but you can use it to get out. This is going to strike some debate up in chat... For people who think they know better than the wiki. And they might know better than the wiki. However, first off, we're going to go back and get the card because I'm not even holding it right now. But then we're going to we're going to use it to get the hush instead. Why don't we just use it to get the hush instead? You are holding it? Oh, cuz I can hold two cards now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. My mistake. I was looking at uh I was looking at all this stuff, and, like, on the map and being like, how the heck am I going to get in there? <laughs> okay, so we're not... So, in that case... I mean, as long as the run is strong... I don't see a reason... Not to pog out of our gore right now. You know, we, I, don't, I don't think we spam our red hearts for a basic mom fight. Absolutely not. I think we, we load up and then use this on the more difficult fights later. No deals, though. Okay, so we're going Dark Path. I remembered. I'm like, I have not forgotten, I, to the best of my memory, <laughs> once over the course of Repentance, which is, is amazing for, for my standards, for sure. Okay, forget that, man. So, okay, what are we doing? We are... Quite simply... We, we're going to kill the Batman. <laughs> we need a better class of criminal. I gotta refresh my memory here. Okay, no matter what, after we kill... Um, it lives. We're going to... Use get out of jail free to see if it opens hush if it does it does if it doesn't it doesn't We're also hoping for an angel room so that we can get a key piece and go fight mega satan If it doesn't that's fine we got nothing to worry about So that's why i'm not using the error room to try to skip the or using uh, unknown to try to skip this floor by the way I don't think it's necessary. You know, I'd, I'd rather get our angel chance here. Use bombs to skip rooms? What are you, what are you talking about? This is a, it's a good run. We still got Cricket's head, thank God. If you're using bombs to, to skip on this one, like... Oh, I guess you're saying just to get to the... Just to get to the boss quickly. Okay, I, never mind. I see what you're talking about now. I was about to accuse you of cowardice. Instead, you made an equally uh, dangerous sin. Ambition. Hey, NL. Do you think the Red Hot Chili Peppers are overrated? 
Yes. I think you can think that they're good, and I, I, I still think you're going to have a hard time, like, disagreeing with me on that one. Like... Is there anybody out there who thinks they're underrated? Probably, but like... Oh, what a, what a whiff. Is anybody out there like, this guy's not getting enough respect? I'd be surprised. Whatever, man. Sure, that's awesome. Thank you. It has to be done. If we don't get into the hush fight, we don't get into the hush fight. Mega Satan's more important. In fact, I, don't, I can promise you we're not going to get into the hush fight. <laughs> Mega Satan's more important. Can of corn and I'll be all right. Okay. Full key piece, please. Thank you. Take me down. I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay, teleport me to a second secret room. That's an error room. Okay, teleport me to a second secret room. To a... To a second secret room. Teleport me to the boss, but hold, get out of jail free. He's done it. The greatest gamer of all time. We got a minute. Spam some things out there. We've only got four red hearts left. Oh my god. Time's not doing so bad here. We're losing the wisps. Don't get me wrong. Thank you, Mom's Heart, for killing your own minion. Please, please. Oh... My damage? I really don't want to use it again, because we desperately are going to need something against Hush. He's done it. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I really, though, I'm not sure I see us beating Hush. But, dude, what do I know? It's been a long time. We're here, at least. So we still have get out of jail free for, like, nothing. But, okay, definitely no clicker. Um, certainly the speed is more valuable than, like, an extra charge. What the heck is this? Flat file? No more spikes? We got enough bombs. I'll, I'll take a stab at it. Just use Nod Leaf. <laughs> Forgot about that. Conjoint? Conjoin shower handle. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 I, I can't lose that. Money. Money. Mummy. We do have 13 red hearts now, like that. Algis. Pair throw. F. F. That hurts. We also do have 10 luck, which is pretty sick. All right. All right, let me in, please. I think I'm ready. Like, just, just spam me, dude. Squeezy. Mummy. <laughs> so I think for the time being, do as much damage as you can. And then if times get tough, literally I'm gonna like put on uh, Nod Leaf with an orbital and I'm gonna go crack a bubbly and we'll just have some conversations here. The only positive thing I can really say, I mean the run's not bad, but the positive thing that I'll say about this right now is like... At least none of our Wisps are integral to our success. We have like two tiers upgrades, I think. So losing those doesn't set us back too far. 
Which is really just a polite way of saying, like, the run's kind of not great, so we're... We've got less distance to fall <laughs> when things go wrong, but... You lose the Wisps if they take a certain number of hits or maybe a certain amount of damage. Or usually, like, on contact with enemies as well. But we, we're definitely not going... Pardon me. We're definitely not going full Nod Leaf Strats just yet. Because, I mean, come on. Like, I got, I got something to live for here. You never know. Fart Baby. Fart Baby could do it, man. Could always drop some bombs in there. It doesn't do nothing. It does something. There goes one of them. Ah, it's pretty minor. My luck stat? Oh, we, we broke the bug. Whatever, that's fine. We have matchstick out there. Hush is a tinted rock. Bro, do you ever, look, I know I tweeted this earlier today. You're, you, you might have a g really good question. NL, did you tweet this because you had goldfish crackers for breakfast? Yes. That's correct. Um, why? Because I didn't have anything else in the house that struck my fancy. But... Goldfish crackers and Cheerios, almost the exact same ingredients. One's a little bit more sugar forward, one's a little bit more salt forward. If you eat Cheerios for breakfast, everybody's like, so true! If you eat goldfish crackers for breakfast, people are like, frick off, I don't believe in that nonsense. Like, I don't understand why, like, what's the difference? It says a lot about society. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, farting baby. Would you eat goldfish crackers with milk? No, but I wouldn't eat Cheerios with milk either, so... It's kind of a false dilemma for me. As a result of my uh, bespoke way of being built. Not wise, not wise, not wise. I gotta move, I gotta move. Starting to, starting to not be too happy with this, but yeah, yeah, just go, just go, just go. Yeah, yeah, if you live, go to Shoal. Thank you, thank you. You lactose intolerant, you little... I'm not lactose intolerant. <clears throat> I just don't like milk. Gaming. Almond milk, though? I just, like, I, I don't know. I I, re I reject the notion that cereal is a, uh, is a package deal. I think you can just eat dry cereal. And I think it's fine. Oh, yeah, this is doing numbers. Really, I just I resent the milk lobby for tricking people into thinking it's a healthy beverage. What about plain yogurt? You can do whatever you want. Just, like, get off my lawn. Saved. Okay. We go down to Shoal. Okay. Now we gotta live. That's the next step. We gotta survive. It's 
So the way we're going to do that is get this guy to pay out with some delicious uh, HP. And then he's going to take that HP and we're going to reroll it with Pear Throw. And we're going to turn it into the ice cream scoop. Can I get some confirmation on what this does? <laughs> Worst item? The item room, though? Literally, like, I mean, come on. This is, like, mere seconds ago that we covered this. Like, did, did you not read the syllabus? Okay, down to Shoal. It's damage up and peeper's eye for a room. I'm not anti that. The wafer! <laughs> oh! Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Now, it only lasts as long as the wisp lasts, but still. Great movie, by the way. Sorry, I said no singing, but that was before I realized that this run would also be a little bad. As per usual, yep, we got the world card, but no map. Yes, sir. My wafer's gone? No, no, no. I see it. I see it in there. Big chubby. What the heck? When did NL start getting 12,000 viewers? It's... it's Finally, the cream has risen to the top. Uh, the people on Twitch have recognized that, like, I am the best streamer. So, it has absolutely nothing to do with, like... Industry forces outside of my control. I, I'm thinking a lot of them came in from that Yahoo News article that was written on, uh, like a couple of uh, weeks ago. That that one did a lot of work for us, I think. Twitch streamer comes up with hilarious response to light troll in chat. My wisps. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do this room. Um, Okay, I've decided I will do this room. I mean, we beat Hush. I'm thinking I can sell CDs. Satan should be no problem. Dark Room plus Mega Satan, as of right now, looks pretty ambitious. Is that a Jay-Z line? It is a Jay-Z line. You're, you've got it correctly. You've correctly identified the tune. We, I think we still have the wafer, man. Did you have any weird TAs in university? Um, not really. I, I can't think of an example where I where I had like a. A TA where I was like, this person's a little weird. I will say, <laughs> this is ancillary. This, this is secondary, okay? But um, on spring break one year, I was in like 10th or 11th grade. Uh, and in because like I lived in the suburbs, right? There was nothing to do to begin with, so my parents sent me to like at the, at the local university. There was like this week long like enrichment course that you could go through. So like I went to it, and then there's kids from all over Ontario there, right? Hot shots from Toronto, yokels from north of Highway Six, you know. Uh, sorry, north of Highway Seven. It's been a while. Um, it was a great mix of like you know cosmopolitan sensibilities we had a great teacher you know taught us a lot of stuff over the course of the week and stoked our fire for learning um and at the end of the course one of the kids like took out her nikon cool pics and was like hey teacher can we get a group photo for the memory bank which i guarantee they have never looked at again um and uh he was like yeah sure but can we make it quick i just got a phone call that said my best friend just died 
And we were like, oh. Will we, like, still took the photo, though? Which I'm not saying, like, we shouldn't have. It was just like, a, I'm not even mad at the teacher. Like, he was obviously, like, kind of, like, shell-shocked or something like that. But I was like, man, that's, like, a lot of, that's a lot of emotional baggage to put on, like, 75, 16-year-old kids. Ooh. Anyway, hold on. Yeah, Q, that's the button. Five bombs, baby. Yeah, we still took the photo. I mean, they'd, they'd already warmed up the Nikon cool picks. Takes half an hour to cool down. No, no, not 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 to these guys. Not to not to spiders. Did it come out well? I don't know, man. They they went back to their hometown afterwards. I never saw it. I'm not a I'm not a sentimental guy when it comes to like photos or anything like that. Okay, hold on. This this is where things are gonna get mighty interesting. Send it. God, he's good. Random bombs? Mommy bombs? Okay, you know how to fight Satan. It's all about unlocks, man. Yeah, it was. It, it's like a Curb Your Enthusiasm or like a Peep Show bit or something like that, right? Like, you're not laughing at the fact that his friend just died or that he just got the news. But if you can't at least admit that there's like some humor to be had in that situation, I think you're kidding yourself. Like, we didn't know what we were getting into, man. Good bomb. Good bomb. Keep it rolling. Still going well. Mix up your directions from time to time. Saved. <laughs> Incoming deals with the devil. Here we go. I can't believe we're still on this, man. Oh, the red hearts. Okay, so these will just kill us dead. Um... It's, it's a long trip <laughs> back to the start. <laughs> Actually, that was a good teleport. We didn't get great items, but the actual room is pretty sick. Do we, we do not still have bombs. Or we, we have bombs, we don't have special bombs, which takes away a lot of the merit. Bang it, John Merrick's remains to all them crazy animal bones. If I had a little damage. People, come on, Daniel. You're out here in chat typing "defeat the lamb" first. Look at look at this run, man. <laughs> I know we we honestly did our best given the circumstances that were available there. Okay, slash marker. End of tainted Eden. One. 